Hey, I'm Jocko Sims, and I play Lieutenant Burke on season three of The Last Ship. Uh, Hank Steinberg, co-creator, executive producer. Whoa. Uh, what, some of the things that happened this, this season, um, Hank, you tell it better as far as the... Uh, uh, well, th this season, you know, we're expanding the world. Season one was about finding the cure. Um, and, you know, it's kind of very internal. They're, you're mostly on the ship. You don't really know what's going on in the outside world. Season two is about getting home and finding out what is happening in America. Uh, and, and then, it, you know, they have their hands full and trying to just get everything right in America. And then season three is about, okay, America is kind of taking baby steps toward restoring itself. Uh, they've been getting the cure out to the rest of the world. And and now, but the world is still, you know, in in terrible disarray. Um, fallen countries, fallen uh, communities, um, and how do you put that world back together? How do you, and there are still, you know, a lot of antagonists out there who uh, want the world to be not necessarily put together the way that we want it to to be. And there's still a lot of people taking advantage of, you know, the power vacuums and anarchy that's been created by the virus. Um, so we really expand out this season. Um, the storyline takes place, you know, primarily in Asia, um, and then we also are cutting back to St. Louis, where there's been a new federal government established with President Michener from last season, and um, Kara is actually a deputy chief of staff, and she's she's not on the ship anymore. She's separated from Danny, and she's working in the White House, and there's a you know a lot of intrigue about how the White House is trying to hold the country together while they have ambitions to try to help other regions, and, th and that's a, the central conflict of the season. <laughs> Best question all day. What's the worst choices you have to make with the character? I mean, you guys have to leave people, people die, you have to make choices of who to get the medicine, who doesn't get the medicine. As an actor, how do you sort of articulate that emotion? Because sometimes it's just in your mind. You know what, as the, much like the U.S. Navy, we work as one unit. And when somebody makes a decision or a choice that can affect or harm any of us, we all kind of take that on. We feel that on our shoulders. And uh, there comes a, a moment in this season where my brother, as a new TAO, has to make some, some choices. And it may put some of us in harm's way. And so that's going to be some of the conflict that we'll see. I have a brother this season, by the way, Cameron Burke, uh, played by LaMonica Garrett, who's great. But he's going to be faced with some choices, a lot of choices in, in the CIC. And... Um, you know, when you, it, it just I learned from watching that that um, those decisions that you make there in CIC, while your men and women are out there in the field, um, they're very crucial, and um, they are key to determining whether the mission is successful or fails. And and you have, of course, a potential loss of life every time a choice is made and a decision is made. So, um, kudos to the U.S. Navy and everyone who has to do those sort of decisions there like that but we, we're faced with that a lot during the season and I can't say much more about it but it's great there is one moment where he has a, a wounded hostage in a warehouse and uh, they need answers from him uh, and and they have to he has to decide how far to push in that which is obviously something that's a, a current thing that we deal with uh, you know in in the current world about what do we do to get answers out of people my name is Marissa Neatling and I play Kara Foster my name is Travis Van Winkle, and I love Kara Foster on the show as Danny Green. That's Lieutenant to you. <laughs> Lieutenant, do I salute to you now? I believe I am higher ranked than you are now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Spill yes. the beans. Me. Yeah. I spill the beans. Tell well, us exactly what Hank and Steve told us not, not to say. Not to say. Tell every, let, let's read the paper that they gave us and just read the opposite. Right, right. Well, things han um, ended on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Um, so we, we do have a, uh, a bit of a time jump. So without giving too many details away, there are um, a lot of questions that are answered <laughs> that you probably want me to answer right now that I can't. <laughs> Stay tuned. Congra All congratulations are to be had. There's a lot of uh, growth that we get to have as a couple. Yep. Which is a lot of fun. There's a lot of growth that uh, that she gets to have back home. She gets uh, she gets appointed into a higher position. And she's got more responsibility, and she's just a woman of power, and you know, a new mother, and uh, potentially a new wife. All these amazing things. Uh, that 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 is very short lived. I would say because um, this this guy is ripped away from me. Yeah, so we spend some time apart this season, and it's um, 
it just taps into what really uh, our military personnel they really experience. So it's um, it's we're just telling a truthful story this season. Hey, this is Adam Baldwin, and I play Captain Mike Slattery on TNT's The Last Ship, premiering June twelfth, two thousand sixteen, nine p.m. Congratulations on the new season. Thank you very much. I'm so excited about what's going on. I mean, you guys had some major plot twists at the end of the season with shooting, with finally trying to establish the U.S. government. What do you guys think about uh, all that drama and people not being as moral as we could hope once the cure really started percolating through the system? Mm. Once you guys found the cure. Well, I subscribe to the tragic vision of human kind in which man is born a barbarian and unless he's trained to be civilized he will remain a barbarian and unfortunately in the chaos the chaotic void that's left in the wake of a catastrophic pandemic we have some bad guys that try to take control and rise up and become strong men and control other people and it's our job to find them and destroy them. My name's my name's Bridget Regan and I play Sasha Cooper. You did it already? I did it already. I'm Stephen Kane, I'm the creator of the show, executive producer. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. How has it been working on a show that is different than your last show? That's true. That's true. Um, I don't really think when I when I have played a villain, I try not to think of them as villains. I try to be on their side and just complete whatever they're going after. Um, so for me, it's not that different in terms of style and tone. The shows are very very different. The nature of the last ship is really high action, high stakes. And joining a show in its third season was kind of like boarding a moving train. You know, you just got to be running and hop on and dive in. And that's what I did. Thankfully, everyone has been super welcoming. But it, my experience was sort of parallel to my characters because Sasha, my character, is not normally on board naval destroyers. And so she's learning as she's going, and I am. Well, first of all, it's always nice to bring in new, fresh faces to the show to, for the cast that already is there and for the fans, just to, you know, especially when you're trapped on a ship for a long time, to get new looks and new characters and broaden the show. Um, that said, we created a character in Sasha that was a challenge to cast because she is pretty, um, pretty amazing. You know, she has to be able to, to speak six languages in Asia or more. She has to be able to fight like a Navy SEAL, but also be a diplomat at an embassy dinner you know, she needs to be classy, but be able to spit with a sailor, you know, <laughs> yeah. and jump out of an airplane. And, uh, and we, we got very lucky to find, to find Bridget. I can spit with sailors. You can. You can stream past seasons on Hulu, buy it on Apple Play or Google, or buy DVD, Blu-ray at your local retailer. This is Cherry Los Angeles. Don't forget to subscribe for all the pop culture entertainment news. Thank you.